they that pierced him, October 12. As they, meaning the Jewish rulers, as they gazed upon his glory in his coming, that is the glory of the second coming of Christ, uh, there flashes before their minds the memories of the Son of Man clad uh, in the grab of humanity. They remember how they treated him and how they refused him. The scenes of Christ's life will appear before them in all cleanness. In other words, they will see distinctly the life of Christ uh, before them. The Bible is quite clear in the book of Mark chapter 14 and verse 62. The Bible says, Ye shall see the Son of Man as sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Understand that as we look at a right hand, uh, the Greek uh, uh, word there simply mean a place of authority or a place of honor. Uh, Christ is on a mission. Uh, we should know that he is on a serious mission. And the mission is to redeem uh, humanity. But this morning you might be wondering how Christ could accomplish his mission in redeeming you. It is simple. Uh, 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, then he is faithful and just to forgive us from our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, once we ask God to come into our lives and to accept us, he accepts us as his own. He accepts us as his sons and daughters. Uh, why not ask him uh, to come into your lives today? Uh, why not let us just trust uh, the authority of his word? Let us ask God for a heart of confession so that we can confess our state uh, before him. That's the power of uh, his word. Let us pray. Father, we pray that you would grant us a heart of confession so that we can confess before you in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.